What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kat. This is my channel. And today we're doing a get ready with me. So I just got off the beach. Or I did when I filmed this. Ooh, Vogue. Look at that. Wow, we look horrible. Let's fix that. <laughs> so I pulled my hair down and if you can hear some little tinkling in the background, we have rain coming down right now while I'm recording this voiceover. But we are going to jump in the shower and get this thing moving. Now that we're out of the shower and we have a fluffy hair mess, I'm going to start with my It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Product. Brett's mom gets this for us every year for Christmas, us being the girls, so I'm just going to brush that through. And I wanted to share this stuff with you guys today because I have not hit the hair loss point of my journey yet. Um, so I'm starting to use products like this one right here, the Bondi Boost Intensive Spray. I'm going to spray this like all up in my roots and my hair. This was suggested to me by my hairstylist. Does it work? I don't know yet. Does it make me feel better? Yup. So I'm going to keep doing it. I also have two other products that I'm going to share with you guys. They're my next two steps that were sent to me for free uh, to review for you guys. And I wanted to review them because they help with breakage and strengthening your hair. And I figure, again, like I've said in a lot of videos lately, I wanna do as much as I can to take care of my skin and my body while it is changing. And I know there are things I cannot avoid, like hair loss, the likelihood of me avoiding that is pretty slim. But what I can do in the meantime to try to strengthen my hair and keep it from breaking, I'm gonna do. So next up, I'm going to take my Magic Mist by In Common Beauty. They were kind enough to gift this to me to review for you guys, as I mentioned. This stuff is amazing. You can use it on your wet hair or you can use it on your dry hair to revise your style later on. Um, but this stuff is really amazing, you guys. It has lavender, rose, and orange extract in it. And it's really, really good for detangling your hair as well as what they call adding vitamins to your hair to enhance, strengthen, and restore your hair's balance. When I started using this, I did notice a significant change. My mom also has mentioned to me that my hair looked really good. I like to put this on the midsections in my hair. I squirted it a little too close to the root this time, but when I do that, I don't end up with any super greasy patches, which is great. The product also smells really, really good. It retails for $35 and the link will be down below so you guys can try this product yourselves. So once all of that is massaged into my hair, I'm going to move on to our next product. This is the Color Wow Cure for Breakage Dream Cocktail Kale Infused. Amazing product. I really like this stuff. Um, you guys, Color Wow was kind enough to send this one over to me as well to review for free for you guys. And I'm trying to get a little shot that this is so important for your breakage. They say um, in their product reviews that you can see reduced breakage by 50%. Um, and they wanted me to show you a before and after, but I have not been using it long enough and I haven't had super breakage yet. So I will show you how strong my hair is once it's dry though. It is significantly stronger, but since I haven't had significant breakage, I can't really judge that. But I do like how my hair feels when I have this stuff in. And notice that I'm just putting it on the ends of my hair because when I have had breakage in the past, it is usually on the ends of my hair. So I'm trying to massage that in as best as I can. So this product retails for $25 and again I'll have a link to it down below. It is an amazing leave-in conditioner. Again it smells really great and in a second here we're gonna jump to me having blow-dried my hair. This product specifically you need to blow dry your hair to really activate the product. So I used three pumps, ran it through my hair, and then blow dried the ends as well as my bangs so that my style would set and then I'm just brushing through to try to move all of the products and mesh it all together in my hair and then we are going to jump really quick to me having blow dried part of my hair let's do it
Okay, TikTok made me do the transition. I've never done a transition like that before, so I thought I'd give it a shot. Let me know if you liked it in the comments below. But here we go. There you can see how strong my hair is, and you guys know I bleach my hair every month with my stylist, pretty much. So to not have any kind of breakage, especially with what my hair is going through right now, that is amazing. So now I'm ready for my post-beach nap, and I will catch up with you in a second when I'm awake later and it's time to continue blow drying. So now that my hair is blow dried, we're gonna move on to skincare. I'm gonna use the Laneige serum that I had. I got this in a little pack and I just wanted to use the tester up. I like to take testers on vacation with me so that I don't have to take big amounts of product. And so I just threw that out when I was done with it and didn't have to drag it back home. And next up, we're gonna be straightening my hot mess. I mean my hair. So it looks really awful in this lighting. The lighting in our condo was horrendous, but it got the job done. So from the same set was the Nage Hydro Water whatever. So I'm gonna put that on. I use the back of a makeup brush to dip it out so I don't get my disgusting fingernails into the clean product jar. Just a little tip. I also have at home little like makeup spatulas but I didn't wanna drag one all the way out there. So I just used a makeup brush. And this is the blurry shot, but this is an Anastasia Beverly Hills tinted brow gel. This is all I use on my brows. Then we're going to pull out my highlighter. On vacation, I don't always like to bring a whole lot of products, so I was using this Tarte highlighter palette, the darker shade for my eyes and the lighter shade for my cheeks. So I just kind of brush that on with my highlighter brush. And then we're pulling out the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. I've used this forever. It is my favorite black eyeliner, and I'm just plopping that on my face. Then we're gonna grab my, what is this, Bad Girl Bang Benefit Mascara. I bought this so long ago, I probably need to throw it out and get a new one. Don't forget to change out your mascara, ladies. So I just did my top lashes and I'll do my bottom lashes later. But for now, we're gonna grab some tiny tart shape tape in light and a round Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. I actually hate the round one, so I'm just trying to use it so I can get rid of it. I have two of them, but I hate them. And then we're gonna go in with the Cody Powder, Goody, Oldie. Everybody loves this one. It smells like grandma, but it works. So then I'm gonna go in with that lighter highlighter color, put that on my face, get my lower lashes done, and we're gonna put our outfit on after doing a little hair pomade. And here we go. Ta-da! I look cute again. This top is from Zara. You saw me haul it in a haul from Dallas a little while ago, and then I just have some Tommy Hilfiger shorts that I made myself that I thrifted. So that is what I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this little get ready with me. Thank you to Color Wow and In Common Beauty for sending me products to try for you guys for free. As always, I never make a penny. I just get the products to try for you and let you know how I feel about them. So with that being said, subscribe to my channel. I put out videos on Mondays, Wednesdays now, and Fridays. Be sure to subscribe for vlogmas as well, and I'll catch you in the next one. Love you, Warrior Crew. Bye.